Introduction. Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've shared some thoughts with you and I hope you're all doing well. Today, I want to talk about the importance of staying positive and focused, even when faced with difficult situations. We often find ourselves being harassed by others, and it's crucial that we don't let this negativity consume us. In this blog, I'll share some insights on how to handle such situations, maintain your happiness, and live life on your own terms. Ignoring the noise. It's natural to feel bothered when we're constantly bombarded with negativity by others. However, dwelling on it or engaging with it only gives those people power over us. Instead, try to acknowledge the negativity without letting it affect your day-to-day -day life. By refusing to let the negative comments or actions get to you, you're taking back control of your own emotions and well-being. Choosing your reactions. While it may be tempting to respond with snide remarks or engage in arguments, it's important to remember that doing so only fuels the fire. By reacting negatively, you're essentially letting the harassers know that their actions are getting to you. Instead, try to rise above it and choose not to engage. This doesn't mean you should ignore or dismiss their behavior, but rather take the high road and focus on what truly matters, your own happiness. Pursue what brings you joy. The best way to overcome the negativity and harassment is to continue doing the things you love. Regardless of what others may say or do, prioritize your own happiness and pursue activities that bring you joy. Whether it's driving, going to the beach, or any other hobby, don't let anyone rob you of the experiences that make life meaningful to you. Driving as an example. Imagine you used to love driving, but now it has become a source of harassment for you. It may be tempting to give up on this activity altogether. However, I encourage you to reclaim that joy by not allowing others to dictate your actions. By continuing to do what you love, you're sending a clear message that their attempts to disrupt your life will not succeed. The beach is an escape. Perhaps going to the beach is your happy place, but you've started avoiding it because of the harassment. In this case, I urge you to reconsider. By letting others keep you from the beach, they are essentially trapping you in your own home, limiting your freedom and joy. Don't let that happen. Embrace the things that bring you peace and happiness, even if it means facing the harassment head-on. Your well-being should always come first. Creating a fulfilling life. When we allow others to control our lives, we end up feeling trapped and unhappy. It's essential to break free from this cycle and start living life on our own terms. Don't let outside sources dictate how you spend your days or influence your overall well-being. Take charge and create a life that aligns with your values, passions, and desires. Conclusion In a world where negativity and harassment seem to be rampant, it's crucial that we don't allow these forces to destroy our happiness. By staying positive, focused, and true to ourselves, we can overcome the challenges thrown our way. Remember, you have the power to control your own life and emotions. Don't let anyone or anything take that away from you. Stay strong, stay positive, and live your life to the fullest. Made with video to blog.